Hey guys, I'm Grace. I'm here at Fishy Business. Uh, we got some really cool uh, saltwater fish today. In addition to the Wednesday video, I know that already happened, but I got a lot of really cool stuff today, so I want to show you what I got. Some of the really different things we got today. Uh, one of them is the Moorish Idol. I also got a uh, black and yellow butterfly fish. I got a Cortez Angel. So those are kind of the things that we don't typically have. Um, so I kind of want to go around and just show you some of the other stuff. So the Cortez Angel, the one that we have right now, is a juvenile. Eventually when it gets larger, it will change color. It's going to be a little bit darker. It's going to lose those stripes. And it will eat coral, so don't put it in your reef tank. Over here we have also, we have a gray angel. The little guy right now, he's also a juvenile. He will eventually get bigger and gray. Um, another one to not put in your reef tank. If you've got a fish only, larger angels are great. So then we also have the dwarf lionfish. He's very tiny. He's probably the size of a ping pong ball right now. Max size would be about seven inches. We'll eat anything that is that can put in his mouth, basically. So here we have a long nosed butterfly. That's the one that I call the black and the black and yellow. Never actually had them in the store before, so this will this will be different. And over here we have a clown tang. Clown tangs you can put in reef tanks. Again, not the easiest fish. I think you need to be a little more experienced to, to do that guy, but you know, it's, it's up to you. So over here, we have a panther grouper. And those get, I want to say, close to about two feet long. Will again, eat anything that fits in his mouth. But other than that, a really cool fish. And down here, we've got a black volatin lion. Um, same thing, anything that'll fit in his mouth, he's kind of going to go for. I would say reef safe around uh, corals as long as he's not constantly perching on them, um, but he will eat any type of invert. A fox face, those are good grazers for reef tanks. Any type of hair algae you have growing on your rocks will kind of take care of that. The fox face is poisonous, so don't let that dorsal fin get you. So here we have a Moorish Idol, another one I've actually never had in the store before. He does get probably double the size that he is now, so we'll kind of we'll see what happens there. All right, so here we have the marine beta. It would be reef safe without inverts or, you know, any, anything small that you could put in there. Really, really beautiful fish. He's got a lot of spots on him. He actually looks kind of like a freshwater beta, <laughs> just a lot larger. We have the ornate wrasse. You can actually house them with other members of leopard wrasses. That's, that's what he is, the family he's a part of. So you could have probably three, four, or five of them together and they would be cool with that. A lot of wrasses are not. They'll actually try to kill each other. So over here we have fire shrimp. They're good scavengers in the tank. They kind of pick up any leftover food or waste up in the sand or on the rocks, pretty much. Other than that, they are really, really beautiful. They're bright, bright red. Black tip starfish, reef safe starfish. Not gonna eat any of your corals. Another good one to have in a reef. There are some that do eat corals like the chocolate chip or the crimson knobby. Those guys tend to eat any type of sponge or anything like that, really. Here we have a red knobby starfish. They actually eat corals. So well, do not put that in your reef tank. Other than that, he will kind of eat stuff off the bottom, any leftover food or anything like that. He'll pretty much pick it up. Really pretty. He's really bright red too, just like a fire shrimp. That's all the saltwater fish that we got in this week. Um, so until then, you'll probably see Chuck next video. But remember, I'm Gracie. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and kind of keep up updates of everything that's going on if we post any tank specials or fish specials, anything like that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.